Welcome to the demo of AutoHTN. AutoHTN is designed to work with Google Android phones and its goal is to control a person's home theater network. And for those of you who don't know what a home theater network is, home theater network is a home automation system, a home theater system, and a home network all merged into one. So as you can see, this is a, the main home screen of AutoHTN. Each button here takes you to a, a screen where you can control your lights, your security sensors, uh, IP web-based cameras, streaming video, thermostat, electrical outlets, window blinds, and receivers. So to start off, we'll go to the lights screen. And it'll take a second to load up the screen because it automatically checks the on-off status of each active light. So you can see there's, there's nine light buttons. Each one's for a specific light. Uh, the way I'm controlling the lights is through Z-Wave light modules. So for example, here's a inter Mantic lamp module, and here is a in-wall Z-Wave light switch, and here is a Z-Wave USB adapter which emits the RF signals to turn the light switches on and off. Okay, I'll give you a quick demo. We'll turn the test light on. You can see the light turned on and the image updated, and we'll turn the light off and these buttons in the bottom corner here all on and all off are will turn on and off all the light buttons and then there's a check light status button which could be useful if you manually turn on a light or if someone has a remote control they'll turn on one of the lights so for example I'll turn on the light with my remote see the light turned on go to the check light status button and the image updated so we'll go ahead and turn the light off again. And we'll go back to the main menu and go to the security motion sensors. All right, this screen is very similar to the light screen as you can turn motion detection on and off. So we'll go ahead and turn the office sensor on. And to demo it, uh, here I'll show you a Z-Wave Home Pro sensor. Here it is, and flashed red to detect motion. So go to the check motion status button, and it'll show alert. Also, just like the light screen, you have the all on, all off buttons, and the check motion status. Uh, going back to the main menu, we'll go to the camera section, and the camera cameras uh, auto HDN supports are IP web-based cameras. The uh, one I've been testing with is a Panasonic BL-C1 model camera. Uh, Emulator here doesn't support the video format of my camera yet, so for now I have a, a short video demo of a, a front door camera. So back to the main menu. And then we'll go to the electrical outlets. which uh, electrical outlets can be useful to control a uh, particular appliance or like for example a fan or a coffee maker and uh, you could turn the, the electrical outlets on or off just like the light section. So we'll go back to the main menu again and now we'll go to the thermostat and it has all typical applications of a thermostat where you can turn the AC on AC off, heat on, fan auto, fan on. Uh, it will automatically get the current temperature when you first slow it up. Or you can press the button to get the current temperature and you can set the temperature of these plus and minus. And when you exit the screen, it will actually send a signal for the temperature. Alright, next is the HTPC streaming video. Uh, you can stream video from HTPC or any PC using an open source program called VideoLAN and right now I have the hockey game streaming through video land. So if you press the HDN video button you'll see a, a demo of a ESPN News streaming. All right, let's go back to the main menu and go to window blinds. Now there's, there's little Z-Wave motors you could purchase that will uh, install in your existing window blinds and then you can use these motors to turn on and off the blinds. So press the button here, closes the blind, opens the blind, 
closes the blind, opens the blind. And same with play blinds, you got the all on, all off. Check blind status. Going back to the main menu, uh, last but not least is the, the receiver section. Now currently, this receiver section will only work with web-enabled DNA receivers. I don't actually have one, which is why I saw that network connection error pop up. But the receiver section is not meant to replace a receiver remote. What it is meant to do is make switching zones easier. So for example, let's say you're in the back porch and you want to listen to XM radio. So go to XM. You would set input to zone. You can turn that zone on and off with the power button here, and you can increase the volume or lower the volume. Another example is, uh, say you want to finish watching a DVD in the, in the bedroom. So you go to zone, bedroom, input, DVD. So now that DVD, you're watching a home theater room, could be set to the bedroom by pressing the set input to the zone. You can turn on and off the bedroom zone right there and the volume right there. So I bet some of you are asking how to set up all, all this buttons here. And the way to do it is go to the menu, setup help, which will take you to autohtn.com. And autohtn.com has all the uh, information how to configure and set everything up. And if you go to a connection diagram, it has uh, it will take you to hometheaternetwork.com which has a, a useful connection diagram and if you go to configure then you'll see a configure all the different topics I just talked about. Let's go back to the main menu and that's pretty much concludes this initial release demo of Auto, H Auto HDN. Thanks for listening.